One of my biggest passions is to just code. Inside of school, I chose to self-study the AP computer science and take the test. And I also am part of like the robotics club. And I'm also vice president of the computer programming club. I went to a camp at WashU uh, for app development, game development in like sixth or seventh grade. And I realized I really like coding and like building things, seeing like an app, something that I built, like being able to be displayed, like kind of come to life in a sense. So that really made me want to get into programming because this is, this is a field where, where I can create anything. So I started kind of looking into like algorithms, looking into competition because I previously did math competition already. So I was like, maybe this is, this is going to be fun. As I kind of like got myself deeper into learning about algorithms, learning about problem solving, it became much more interesting to me. And I think I just continued that cycle. One of the biggest uh, competitive programming competitions is known as the USA Computing Olympiad. So I'm gonna refer to it as the USACO. I think it was kind of a natural progression because uh, most high school students in the US that do competitive programming are going to start on like the USACO because by progressing up the different uh, levels, you can eventually get invited to international competitions. You just register, you make an account, and there are four contests a year, four to five hours, and they have three problems for you to solve. So depending on how well you do on these problems, and if you pass a certain cutoff, then you promote to the next level. I guess I just started from there. It was just repetitive practice, looking up new algorithms, seeing the solutions, trying to implement code yourself. There are four tiers, so bronze, uh, silver, gold, and platinum. So once you promote to Yusuko Platinum, if you continue competing, you can be eligible to be invited to the Yusuko training camp. And based on how you perform there, they then select the top four spots at the European Girls Olympiad in Informatics, so EGOI. I had done what I did to like deserve to be in camp, so I was, I think I was really there to like try to just do my best and uh, get to know some of the other people who are also in camp. And I, I really did that. I think I was a lot more relaxed at camp because I was feeling good about myself. After I realized I was into, I was in Ego, I, it, the stress started setting in. The competition format is that there are five hours to solve four problems. So what I did was I spent basically the entire entirety of June just preparing. My routine would look something like three or four times a week, so I would do a five-hour contest. And then I would eat, I would come back, and I would try to solve all the problems I didn't get to solve, like look at the solutions. So basically, contest practice would take up an entire day for me. The entire trip to Sweden was a week long, including arrival and departure, and there were two days for contests. So the first day was kind of just setting up, like testing the room we were in. And then after that, we had our first contest. So that was five hours, four problems. The day after that, we had an excursion to the zoo. And then after that was the second day. And that was the second contest. And then the closing ceremony on the last day and then departures. We had two gold medals. We had one silver medal and one bronze medal. So this is, even though we go as a team, there is an individual competition. So I think we did really well this year. I think this is the best we've done in terms of past years that the USA has uh, competed. I want to continue competing at least. I want to go to next year's Agua, which is going to be hosted in the Netherlands. So uh, I'm definitely going to continue like just at least practicing, making sure I don't do worse than I did last year and trying to make uh, the training camp and Agua again, because both of them, I feel like were really good experiences and decided that right now I'm uh, focusing on college applications. I'm still playing flute. I'm still like doing math competition, things like that. I wanted to go into artificial intelligence because with the development of ChatGPT, I feel like AI is going to be playing a really big role in our lives in the future. And I am seeing like the possibilities that we can do with it, like in medical fields, in like environmental sustainability fields, and even like just technological development research. I feel like AI can do so much things and I want to be able to use it to better our community to like, I guess, make people's lives easier. For computer science, it's really a matter of persistence. I think my biggest advice would be to like, know why you started, like know why you're interested and hold that thought in you while you're practicing when you feel the urge to give up. Because 
I feel like it took a long time for me to become accustomed to coding itself. So don't give up really easily.